There are a lot of rattlesnakes, way more than most people realize, and they come in a lot of different shapes and sizes. But one question that I get asked a lot is which rattlesnake is the most threatening to people? And to answer that question, we need to go to the Sonoran Desert over in South Arizona. This state has more rattlesnake species than anywhere else in the world. But the one that we're interested in today is the icon of the West, the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. Now you might be thinking, Zach, what makes a Western Diamondback more dangerous than other rattlesnakes? And it's true, because after all, there are more venomous rattlesnakes around, like Mojaves and Tigers. So to answer that question, me and the crew would have to meet up with Brian from Rattlesnake Solutions. We've got a couple of rattlesnake relocations to join for today. And as fate would have it, Brian just got another call to remove a rattlesnake from someone's yard. All right, so we actually do have a snake relocation we're gonna join for, and we're throwing our boy Ben into the fray. So if the footage is bad, Blame Ben because he's Ben. Ben. I, I trust Ben. I wanted to be the first thing so bad. Yeah, it's probably going to be an Aatrox. It's probably, probably going to be a Western Diamondback. The but. thing that makes Western Diamondbacks the most dangerous is the rate at which they're encountered. More of these snakes need to be relocated from people's houses than any other venomous species, which is what Brian and his team at Rattlesnake Solutions specialize in doing. Spencer, how do you feel about being left out? I'm fine. I have invertebrates to film. Think of these snakes like biological landmines. They are not aggressive by any means, but if you were to ever step on one, they would pack a punch. So is Aatrox the most common call you yes. get? Mostly Aatrox. Uh oh, Ben's, Ben's wild reporting inside. Yeah, that's great. He might come running out. Oh yeah? They, they, it got canceled. They never dropped. They never dropped? They never dropped. Oh, wow, he's beautiful. Oh, nice. Oh. Grab him by the tail. He's in there. Awesome. That was incredibly efficient. After safely capturing the snake, it's important to release it into an area where it won't have any more bad encounters with people. Rattlesnakes are a super important part of the ecosystem in Arizona, and that makes every individual really important. You have to know enough about the animals to be able to find them in the wild in order to release them in the wild. Yeah, there he is. I agree. God. They'll come out and sit in this stuff and move in this stuff. They'll be operating within just a few degrees of their upper, upper terminal temperature. Oh, so wow. they're they are near death a lot of times just being here. That's insane. Okay. Do they really develop site fidelity fast or do they it can of, be. Do they move around a little bit and then find a new place like reasonably close? You know, it's it's still something we need to figure out more about. But yeah. the times that I've checked, and when I check I mean uh, come we come, we come back, snakes. we use camera traps, or it's ones that have released at my property that are uh, from the right area, things like that, is that they will, if it's the right spot, they'll stay there. All right, let's Good go stuff. do that. Uh, oh. We've got one more rattlesnake to go and release after this one, and it's a gravid female. But before we get into that, if you enjoy conservation content and want to support this kind of work, make sure to head on over to the LWA Patreon. I occasionally post my research and even video updates over there. And there's even a sneak peek of next week's video there as well, where we help relocate a rattlesnake back home in the south. It's work I couldn't do without y'all's support, so if you want to help out even more, the link will be in the description. Okay, now back to our adventure. We've got to find a perfect place to drop this snake, not just for its own sake, but also for the babies. Rattlesnakes give birth to live young, and are actually pretty caring parents as far as reptiles go. Shade and water are super important. Since it's the middle of the summer out here, if we simply dump this snake out into the open, it would most certainly die. The reason so many bad encounters happen with these snakes is because they're seeking food, shelter, and water, which oftentimes puts them right in proximity to people. That's hot. You can see her now. Hey, baby. Hi, baby. Woo. Hi, baby. Survival habitat, uh, no immediate conflict. There's permanent water she can have for babies. Same genetic community, straight up the, the place from she was caught. So I think in, given the situation, this is as good as you can possibly do. Sure. Well, Brian, thank you so much for Thanks, having nice us out here. You've been great, super passionate guy, great company, great channel too. So I'd recommend going and checking out the Rattlesnake Solutions YouTube channel. And anything you want to tell everybody? Uh, I'm real thirsty. These guys are real <laughs> thirsty. So thanks a lot. And uh, we have an ice drink in our future. 
<laughs> awesome, perfect. I absolutely love awesome. getting to join for work like what Rattlesnake Solutions does. But I came to Arizona to see these snakes out in the wild. So this evening, we're off to go find our own. These vast deserts harbor tons of rattlesnakes. And this area in particular has five different species that we can see. But the most prolific is definitely the diamondback. After running into a couple of other species, and a few that were unfortunately hit on the road, we finally got our wild diamond back. No, he's alive, he's alive, he's big alive, big alive, big alive. He's super alive, he's super alive. Excellent. There's a car coming. Move him now. We need to move him now if he's on the road. This little guy is going off. He is mad. We just pulled him off the road because there was a car flying by and it would have absolutely nailed this snake. Here's a western diamondback. Proper Western Diamondback right here. Probably about two and a half foot, not a massive one, but definitely an adult. He's looking straight at me. I don't like that. These guys have a crazy good strike range for how big they are. See that right there? He's grumpy. This is a very grumpy little male. I'd like him to face the camera. He's not gonna stop rattling, I can tell you that much. He is mad mad. Western Diamondbacks are practically a dime a dozen here in the Samoan Desert. Practically a dime a dozen in any habitat you can find them in. Grasslands, thorn scrub. These guys go all the way into East Texas, down into Mexico. Goodness, as far north as the Colorado plateaus. I mean, these guys are a widespread, probably the most successful rattlesnake species I would go ahead and say in the world. These guys are just built for the desert, built for any arid environment. He's a meanie. He's got a little attitude with him. He will whack you if you mess with him. And that's why I tell people, do not mess with these snakes. Most rattlesnake bites happen when people are trying to move, kill, or keep one of these snakes. And that's not something you want to do. Ooh, look at you. Bad, bad snake to get bit by. Not as bad as the Mojave, but good grief, you're going to have a rough time. And that medical bill might just kill you. Now, I don't think I have to explain to you guys why this is called a diamondback rattlesnake. It's got diamonds on its back. Mojaves have a pretty similar patterning. Stop getting closer to me. Go that way, you. Goodness, the way he moves his head back there. He's trying to get some extra range. Between about two and a half, three foot is when this snake is at its athletic prime. That is when they're just at their most potent when it comes to movement. After that, they start getting a little bit more sluggish. I would never attempt to tail a snake like this. There's no reason to touch this snake. We've done what we're supposed to do. We pulled him out the road, we kept him from getting hit, and now I'm teaching you guys about the snake. This is about as much interaction as I possibly want to have. What's great is, out here in Arizona, there are resources to get these guys removed, relocated, and even keeping them out of your yard. I definitely give Rattlesnake Solutions that plus. They'll come and help with rattlesnake stuff all the time. Great company, great people. And this is the main snake they get calls for. One of the most common rattlesnakes by far out here, but my goodness, are they just a thrill. Grumpy little guy, though. I mean, look at how grumpy he is. Grumpy, grumpy, grumpy. Super athletic, too. Now, this is a species that's super related to one of the snakes I want to see. Actually, within eyesight, I can see it from here, the Sky Islands, that's home to the Arizona black rattlesnake. That's what I'm hoping to see on this trip. It's my number one target. I guess when we let this guy go, that's where we're heading next. What a score. If you guys did enjoy seeing this rattlesnake, make sure to check out the time that we camped out for diamondback rattlesnakes over in South Mississippi. Probably one of my favorite snake adventures that we've had in a while. Now, see you guys next time. All right, let's get this guy off the road.